The sun is shining, spring is officially here. Join us for some more work on the van. We're doing some knick-knack odd jobs today, but also, big one, we're gonna start cladding the roof. Dad's working on the control panel which goes above the door and I'm going to try build more around the bed. I'm gonna try get the headboards in and um, all this cutout section sorted, so see how we go. While Dad started working on making the control panel, I cut a couple of rectangles out of the ply that we'd used to go above the wheel arches. And then using the jigsaw, I just had to round off a couple of the corners. That meant that they fit perfectly at the head and the foot of my bed, just giving me a bit of extra space while I sleep. And using the middle joist of the van, we just drilled some screws in to attach it and used polyfiller on the back to secure it properly. These are the reading lights I have chosen. They're matte black, they've got a USB port, they are dimmable, flexible, and you hide the screws, so you can't see the screws. So this makes me very happy, and we were so impressed, weren't we, when they arrived? Yeah, yeah. We've even bought another set, we were that impressed, so yeah, one on each side. I'm more than happy. About there? So yeah, because yeah, if you no, sat up, then you can bend it. Yeah, and... yeah if you draw the centre line about there, wherever you want it. Right, and then draw the centre line there. And I'll measure that one. Uh huh, and then, and then copy I'll, it. I'll copy it. Which is what you can see us doing here. We attach both the lights to the top left and right hand corner using the two screws that were provided, and then pulled the wires through the back of them, as you can see here, ready to connect them to the mains. So, to allow us to, for any reason, if this breaks yeah. or fails, we don't want to tape it too tight. Yeah? Uh -huh. So what you do is you make a little loop. Okay. Just like that. Yeah. And we'll tie wrap it before we tape it long. Okay. If you just do that, yeah. you'll be able to that's not too tight. Mm -hmm. So if you ever need to pull that off, yeah. this wire will pull through. You can pull through yeah. it, yeah, okay. Yeah. We're taping the wires just to add a layer of protection so they don't chafe and get damaged. We originally added in wires for separate USB sockets and separate reading lights. But then we found these wonderful things, which we just fell in love with, um, and they have a USB in. So that's why we're changing tack with the wiring a touch. So instead of one being wide in this side and one being wide in that side, these are now fitted parallel. So we've joined them there. Dad's doing that same thing here. And then these ends attach to these ends, which is what you can see us doing here. And next we add a little bit of polyfiller on the back and screw the nuts into the middle strut again to keep it secure. And look how lovely they look. That's quite a quick job, really. The reason why I'm doing this is just to get an extra inch or two in the bed. So we're going to have to build, basically box this in and round the edge and this top bit here as well, because this actually does stick out quite somewhat. So we're going to box that in and then make a, a frame for the window. Same on this side. I'll box that in here. And then mum is going to make me a nice padded headboard to fix onto that as well. Next up, we have the control panel that Dad's been working on, and this goes above the door. So we just screwed that into the metal as it is and pulled all the wires through, ready to attach the buttons to them. I'm gonna have switches, all of these. So my light, my water, my heating, they're the ox beams. That's gonna be the trimmer, the water gauge goes there. So my whole control panel is above the door as soon as I walk in. So Dad was teaching me how to wire these in properly and we added on the buttons and then labelled them to make sure we didn't get anything mixed up. Ta-da! Finito! Thanks, Dad. So that's another job ticked off the list. I mean, obviously, it's not finished. There's some work to be done on it to get it complete, but the foundations are there. So here we are working on the roof. We're adding the vapor barrier now using glue on both the vapor barrier and the ceiling before pressing it on tightly. 
We're making sure to leave gaps for the wires to come through, for the lights. We're taping any joins in the material and adding these wooden battens on, which is what we're going to attach the padding to when we get to that point. Look who's here. We've had to have the skylight open because it's so warm. Look at that blue, how glorious. Spring is here, I'm excited. Right, this is where we're at. The vapor barrier is on the roof. So we've cut holes for the wires and I've taped up round there. So these are where the lights are going. Lights. Looking good, huh? So that's that. Um, went to go get my hair did today. So this is probably the most glamorous you're going to see me ever. <laughs> Another thing to note, because it is so gloriously sunny today, I have made a good choice with my bulkhead. When I put my hand through here, it's boiling. Absolutely boiling. But in the back, it's cool. So I made the right choice because I have the cat. Obviously this heat would have all penetrated into my house when I was out. So I'm dead chuffed I made that decision. I know it's not for everybody, but for me, I love having that in. It's a new day. Vapor barrier's done, we're gonna clad it. Right then, this is what we're using from the good old B&Q. So these are packs. And they are 2.4 meters. So they're 2.4 meters long. And one pack covers one square meter, pretty much. We had a bit of trouble um, getting packs that weren't broken. We must have gone through, what, 15, 20 packs, Dad? Yeah? And uh, we only selected six. So if you are buying them, just make sure to watch out for some knots. I'll show you what I mean. Damage like this, that's almost breaking. Um, then there are, you've got to watch out for like little knots like that out of them. Here we go. So just be careful if you do buy this, but it's gorgeous stuff. So let's crack on with installing it then, shall we? First things first, Dad had to cut out the holes where the lights were going. And we did this and then sanded those down before bringing it into the van. Now you might be wondering, why haven't I just put one in the middle? Why have I joined two together? And I had a crazy idea, as I do, and I wanted to bring the roof further down. So that's why I've joined them together. That will bring an even number to the end, and then I want to bring the roof round a bit. So you see how the van curves down? I'm hoping that the cladding will go to here, then I can put another one on here, another one here, and then sort of like curve it down the wall a bit as well. So then the cladding will be at the back of my cupboards, which I think looks really nice. So we've made the first mistake of the day. We put one of them in upside down. <laughs> Whoopsie! Dad's managed to pull it off without breaking it, which is marvelous. So you can see here, there's a tiny little groove between the slats. So we did it right on this one, we did it right on this one, but this one here we'd put in upside down, so we're just gonna have to, we're just changing that now. Is it gone straight in? Perfect. Is that why that was harder to get in as well? Yeah. <laughs> it took us a while to tap it in. Um, and yeah, we put it upside down, so there should be a groove, but that's coming together quite quickly. And it looks really nice, I'm happy with that. So we'll carry on with the rest now. Our biggest challenge was to make sure that the first ones we put in were level, but the second we added that one in at the side of the fan and everything lined up, well, we knew we were on for a winner. So the process was we would mark where we needed to cut it, score it, saw it off, and then sand it down before adding it on. And we got into a rhythm, so as Dad was tapping one in, I'd go off and cut the other one and bring it back to get us into a nice flow. We're going to take a break for lunch now, but this is where we're at. Another glorious day! I don't know about any of you, but spring just makes me so happy, or the sunshine in general. So we have one light, two lights, three lights. The fan cover's gonna go on as well. And the skylight cover. Have you just done it there? Just a bit more? He's well excited about getting this on. Yeah, looking good, isn't she? The smell. 
is divine. So what he's doing is the wires that come from the fan, he has attached into the conduit which goes underneath this strut. So you need to cut out the plastic section of the cover to make sure that these wires go through because the plastic bit fits in this gap. So that's what he's doing now, just to allow those wires to fit in and sit flush. And it's gonna be the same with this skylight. The case fits into this section here, just in between that fixture and that gap. That's where it goes. So we'll be setting that one in as well today. It's worked out perfectly, actually. If you join two pieces in the middle of the van, you've got one of these vans and your skylight's in the middle. We don't have to cut any of these. Same with this. Oh, here he is. Back, forth, up, down, left, right. Mm. So same with this. We've ended up, it's perfect for four in the middle and we haven't had to cut any of the ones down the side, which were very lucky about, really. There we go. Are you happy? Yeah. Amazing. Are you going to put that on now? Yeah, I'm going to get the screws. Wow. Ta-da. Ta-da. Hey, looking good, Pops. Yeah. We have had lunch and we're going to fit the next one with the light in and that's the last light we have to cut and then the rest it will be quite smooth sailing and from this point onwards it was smooth sailing i think it took us an hour to get the rest of the battens up now so all in all i think it was six hours work this day that took us to get the roof finished ceiling is done minus one piece at the end because we need to cut a little gap out of it. And once that one's in, that will be the whole flat ceiling done. We drew a template on a scrap piece. We overlaid it. Dad's gonna jigsaw it now. Go. Let's just appreciate the master at work while he does his thing before sanding it down and then adding glue to where the wooden meets the battens. Mama's having a chill in the sunshine. Watching us finish the last bit. Does it fit? Of course it does. Of course it does. Look at that. Perfect. Next, we had to fit the trim for the skylight. I'm on the roof. I'm on the roof. I'm on the roof. Oh my god. I'll just stay here with my shoulders burning. And I have a ceiling. I've chosen. Pops is going to wire this in now. So these match my reading lights, match my USB plug ports, match my plugs, match everything. They're sexy, aren't they? And super thin. That's the rest of the lights wired up. I went for these LED cabinet lights. They come in lots of different preferences. I'll put the link down below. And that is another stage complete. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.